So I just got back from dropping my kids at school and this morning for breakfast, I'm having a bulletproof coffee. Now, a lot of people have asked me, I've been doing bulletproof coffee for a number of years now. A lot of people ask me over the years why and how I do a bulletproof coffee. And recently, um, I wrote a big piece on Bike Chaser about fasting and in that piece, I talk about the bulletproof coffee and I've had a lot of people reach out to me again about how, why, etc. So this morning, I'll link to that article as well below this one if you're interested. This morning I thought I would show you how I make a bulletproof coffee and why I make it. So everything's set up in the kitchen, let's go. Perhaps before we go deep into how I make it and the benefits, just quickly explain what bulletproof coffee is. It's an invention from a guy called David Asprey. He's an entrepreneurial guy out of the United States and he's very much focused on the health and well-being sector and he created this thing called Bulletproof Coffee which is essentially black coffee with butter, so grass-fed butter and MCT oil which is an extract from coconut and you're basically creating this high fat coffee and you have it in the morning and there's a myriad of different benefits that people can get out of it but what I wanted to do is explain to you how I make it because I actually make it a little bit different to the way David Asprey makes it based off my own body, how I felt from the butter in particular. I actually use this coconut cream instead of butter and that was advised to me by a very well regarded health practitioner Helen Patteron based out of Sydney and also the benefits that I get out of it as somebody who trains quite heavily I'm a cyclist so I guess the you know benefits from an from an athlete's perspective that's what I really want to dig into so first of all why do I personally do it there are three main reasons why I personally do it number one is I do it to just give my body a rest there's a lot of interest these days in fasting, intermittent fasting. So in a good intermittent fast would be 16-8. So you're giving yourself 16 hours of rest and eight hours you're eating. So if, say if you finish eating at seven or 8 p.m. in the evening and then you go through to noon or one o'clock, the following day, that's considered an intermittent fast. Now, does the Bulletproof coffee in the morning say that it isn't a true intermittent fast? Maybe, but it's, it's just a little bit of liquid and I'm addicted to coffee, I can't get by without it. And doing this enables me to have my coffee fixed, but also enables me to have that intermittent fast. Now, 30% of your daily energy is spent on consuming food. So you take away one of those meals. So let's just say maybe on a day where you do a Bulletproof, you're doing 20% of your daily energy is on burning food. So you're saving yourself 10%, and that gives your body more of a chance to have a rest, recover better, get rid of toxicity, etc. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that it helps to reduce blood sugar and manage your insulin levels. So a lot of us have become reliant on carbohydrates. You tend to spike your insulin and you're, you're going through ups and downs through the whole day. And a lot of people that do eat a lot of carbohydrates snack a lot as well. So when you're having this coffee, it's full of fat and you're teaching your body to use fat as a energy source, a primary energy source, as opposed to carbohydrate. And you, what your body does is it turns fat into a ketone and you use the ketone as energy. And the ketone is a much more efficient way, a lot of people say, of burning energy and the, the way your body utilizes and the way your body operates. You become less reliant on eating and having that carbohydrate spike to basically get yourself through the day. Um, and as a result, you, you sort of tend to snack less as well and you're more efficient with the way you burn fuel. And the third is weight loss. So I found with the Bulletproof, doing it particularly in the off season where I'm, I'll do it two or three times a week, you're basically removing two or three meals from your weekly diet. My off season weight used to be around 82 kilos, which was probably a touch over. Now I tend to hover around 80 kilos. So it's helped me manage my weight better as well. So the kettle is boiled. So I've got my organic coffee here. I've got my little scooper. I'm gonna scoop this, put a big scoop in the top of the AeroPress. Got the kettle, boiling water. Now, fill that to the top. Now there's a, there's a little filter below the AeroPress, so you can see that coming out. Now, I've got quite a big mug, and I do that because I just love coffee and I wanna have an everlasting experience. And I'm just gonna wait for it to, you can see, Wait for it to drop down to about here. And then I'm going to refill it to the top. 
and then with the aero press you put this on and it sort of suctions the coffee and with the air pressure just holds it in place. So the next thing I want to do, I've got my blender here and I'm going to put my coconut cream, two tablespoons, in the blender. That's tablespoon, pretty chunky tablespoon I go. Now there's still a bit, fair bit of coconut cream in there, so what I'll do is I'll put it in a container, put it in the fridge and just use it for the next time. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is this MCT oil. One tablespoon of this. Then the last thing, a little cheeky teaspoon of this mushroom powder. It's not the type of mushrooms that you get in Bali, but it's the type of mushrooms that makes you concentrate better, more energized during the day, and goes kind of nicely with the Bulletproof. It's a teaspoon in the blender. Meanwhile, the uh, coffee is just brewing on the side. Now, normally I like to have strong coffee, so I'll let it brew for around five minutes. By the time you sort of fill up your blender, you're getting close to five minutes. Now with the AeroPress, you push down slowly. You've got to be patient. If you push down too fast, done this in the past, the filter can self combust and basically you get the whole coffee granules and everything in your coffee and you've got to start all over again. Not a good thing. So nice and slow. And the coffee is going to go inside the blender. Okay, so right now that's not looking too good. Now some people stir their bulletproof and it's highly recommended you don't because it just doesn't blend. It really doesn't and you get chunks, it doesn't taste as good. Okay, you don't need a fancy Vitamix blender, any blender will do. So you don't need to get too excited on the blending. I go for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, but you can see that's all nicely blended in there. It's got a nice head to it as well. It's actually a very nice sort of creamy latte type scenario. So I'm at my desk, ready to start my day, and I've got my creamy bulletproof coffee here. Oh man, that's good. And I wanted to share just a few things with you if you're thinking about trying this intermittent fasting or bulletproof for the first time. Things you need to be thinking about. First of all, this is a rest day for me, so I haven't gone and ridden 50 or 100 Ks this morning. And if I do that, I tend to want to fill my body with good quality nutrients for recovery purposes post ride. So I would recommend doing these on your rest day. Additionally, if you haven't done a Bulletproof coffee before and you've been eating breakfast for the last five, 10, 15 years, keep in mind that you're gonna to have to condition yourself and get used to this process. You're not gonna see or feel the benefits straight away. In fact, you might struggle for the first few weeks of doing this. I know my sister has started doing this and she's been getting super hungry. It's say 10 or 11 a.m. So what I suggested to her and what's recommended is don't have your meal then straight away. Don't go straight for, for a mid-morning breakfast or some lunch. Take a handful of good quality fat, so that's raw nuts, walnuts, cashews, etc. Make sure they're not full of oil and salt, raw nuts, and have a handful of those. And that will sustain you until lunchtime or take a boiled egg or something like that. Additionally, like if your body hasn't really used ketones as a primary energy source before, and I'm certain there are a lot of people out there because they eat carbohydrate for every meal, your body is dealing with a new way of using a different energy source, so breaking down fat into a ketone for the first time. So you might feel a little bit strange. So just keep in mind that it's not gonna be for everything once you condition your body. And for me, in the mornings now, when I do a Bulletproof coffee, I've noticed operating off ketones, I'm much more laser focused for work as opposed to having a carbohydrate meal in the morning. Now, the last thing I'll mention, which is super important, is for your first meal, once you break the fast, so after 16 or so hours, at noon or one o'clock, don't have a high carbohydrate meal. Don't have a pasta or a pizza or some rice. Have something which is sort of well-rounded. Make sure you've got some good quality fats in there as well through avocados, raw nuts, etc. 
And that will ensure you're not spiking your insulin level and that will ensure that the next time you do a bulletproof coffee, it'll be a little bit easier. And then the next time you do it after that, it'll be a little bit easier again. And then you'll just get used to it and you'll actually really enjoy the experience like I do and you'll get those benefits that I talked about at the start of the video. So I hope that's been useful and insightful for those people out there either thinking about doing some intermittent fasting or trialing bulletproof coffee. I'll catch you in the next video.